to everyone. Hopefully, y'all hear me talking. Well, on the replay because nobody's watching it yet. Um, up front, for the people that's not watching yet, I am sick. I randomly started coughing the other day, so I apologize in advance for the coughing that's going to happen. And my nose started running today, so <laughs> yay me. But you know what? Let me see if I can. My goal is to unbox this stuff this way and then see if I can turn the camera around. I should be able to do that and go into more detail on what I'm unboxing. But let me um, find my video and share it out to people, hopefully. Hopefully I'm even logged in. Who's here? I see I got three thumbs up. Meta. Hello. <coughs> Apologies in advance. Random cough. Mecca's review. Hello. Random cough. Runny nose. Oh, come on. I'm logged in. Well, I wasn't logged out. So now this is going to take me extra long. But hello, people. I'm going to be unboxing three things. And um, then I'm going to turn the camera around and open them. Please. One, I definitely need to open to see if there are any QC issues. And the other, I just want to, I just want to open it. Give y'all a first-hand experience on that. But um, right now, I'm trying to share my video. Two places. So people can actually see. Um, I definitely need to share it to my I like page if I can. Hello everyone, thank you for the likes. I see I got eight so far. Well, where is my face again? Oh, come on. Come on. Don't leave me. What is that? B Bang 75 and all. Yield to, well, 21, no, 200. 210,000. Why do you make your name so high? That's the wrong channel. The What's Up YouTube fans. Or I think he's always saying, what up, you two fans? Like, there's only two of them. Shout out to Sony from TM Reviews. I am not TM Reviews. But if you're here because you think I am, thank you. Or, or vice versa. Oh, boy. This is taking me through a whole bunch of changes. I just wanted to share the link to my like page. All right, after this, I'll start unboxing crap. Naturally, this stupid thing is slow as crap. Pink is actually here. All right. Okay. I'm going to open this small box of my Hasbro Pulse first. 
Come on. I'm using an old phone for my comments and junk, and it is definitely old. <laughs> oh, no. No memes. Not this time. Yeah. Now you get to see what I'm doing. You're not baited. But this is one of my most anticipated figures. Whether people think I should be having it as most anticipated or not. But it's the X-Men animated series Cyclops. They made several improvements to him previous releases and whatnot. The box looks awesome, of course. And I'm going to open that on the other side of the camera. And I'm going to open this, too, on the other side. This comes from... Let's see if we... Well, they don't have it all the way in there. Toy Dojo. Oh. You're going to be disappointed then, Henry. It ain't for you, it's for me. And you already got this. And the other thing I'm about to open, you don't even care about. You know what? I should have probably brought my Lysol in here. But fans toys jive who is their version of jazz i think pig for life shipped this to me and he you see him coughing every day for the last two weeks i'm already coughing i don't need extra on top of that but, you know i never keep these plastic bags I, i'm trying to be careful taking the tape off I don't know why, but here's that. My throat is scratchy right now. So I don't know. This about as good as I'm going to be able to get. Thank you, Pink for Life and Toy Dojo. And thank the money that I spent on it. We got a bigger box. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Let's put Jive next to this. There we go. This comes to me from the lovely G Tony. Thank you so much. This one I'm definitely going to have to unbox live. Enough tape on here. What did I say? Use this bad shiny. Stop spoiling everything. So, oh, I thought this box was big for no reason. Oh boy. This is still big on the inside. Admiral Shipper. <laughs> Kano. And here we are. You know, the same thing happened when I was watching it too. It came out like this. Meanwhile, the actual slip cover is still in the box. But Victory Saber, the third has lab in my possession right now. But um Y'all already know and I'm gonna be talking about it. They got the Japanese version of the um, packaging right there. 
And this is for us Americans. Americans like things more simple. <coughs> well, actually, I don't think it's about being simple. It's supposed, it's supposed to be retro. But uh, you know what? Since we're already halfway there, I'm going to see if I can flip this camera around. I was going to open Cyclops first because he's smaller. But this is a halfway open already. And let's see if I can turn the focus around. Yeah. Yeah. One day, I'm going to finish reviewing that wave so I can do Infinity Ultron. But uh, I told y'all I'm sick right now. Currently. <laughs> I don't know. I randomly started coughing. Out of nowhere, it wasn't no post nasal drip. You just missed Jigsaw Nora. You missed me open two other things, but I haven't really done anything. But we got that. Let's look at this stuff. Um, I heard these were broken in package with no handle. I'm seeing handles, so thank goodness for that. And now we got these guys. Oh boy. G Tony, him for the one he got for him. <laughs> Yes, I think Henry gave me a cold. He had COVID and he sent me his God of War. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the things that happened to Sony and G Tony is they got the same panel on both sides. So you see how that has the port right there? And the port right there in the front, Sony and them, they got like the port in the front and the port in the back, which is incorrect. And that's all I needed to see right there. But this feels, I didn't take it off here or off the little plastic ties, but this feels substantial already. Like it feels way heavier than I would think for our Hasbro product. But he looks good. Let's look at this dude. And I saw somebody got two of the same crotch panels on this one. So there you are with that. <laughs> what else can I jinx myself on? Pick. Um, the wings look like they're matching. Oh. This nose cone is another issue that people had. These look all right so far. We'll see when I come back to the review. Now, the Minicons, or the MicroMasters, they always have sucked since Siege. Hey, oh yeah, Mac man. <coughs> when I pull these out, their legs are likely to fall off. So, you know, let me look at the back of here. I'm not going deep. As far as trying to find paint chips and crap, it looks good from what I can see. So that is definitely good enough for me. It doesn't have mi mix match panels or so that is definitely good. I can't wait to pop these off of the pegs and really get to it. So, I don't know. so far, as far as how much this is worth and whatnot. It feels heavier than your typical, your regular release, like they're using old school plastic. But that's good. But now I can unbox this guy right here. Hello, everyone joining late. Um, thank you for clicking the like button when you got here late. 
I click the like button immediately. I would super be grateful if you did it. And if you even shared. That would be lovely, but here's how they come now. Let's listen here. It's his hands. Here's one thing, one of the reasons why I wanted this bed. He has fist on. Hold on. <coughs> he has fist on, but open gesture hands and the shooting. Well, touch the side of the visor hand. Thank you. You've been needing to have that forever. Um, it looked like it was more in here, like a surprise, but it's not. Here's the Cyclops. Penless everything. I might take off the animated deco. Oh, look at that. When Henry watches, I mean, when Pink does his live streams, he doesn't focus on the thing. Mine still lets me focus. But one thing, he posted to you, hold on. Huh? <clears throat> I don't know what you mean, unboxing art. But um, I like the way this is set up. It used to be these were free-floating and dropping off. These were free-floating. Now it's part of his leg sculpt, or at least glued on. But yeah, I might use some rubbing alcohol and take off the cell shading oh yeah everybody should hate iphone users but <laughs> this let's move his ab crunch and whatnot yes the fact that you can do this and it not bunch up that is awesome and he still has a hinge Hey, Asus Hunter. I'm imagining it's Sal. You meant the joint. Oops. Oh, no, I just... Shoot. I just deleted your comment by accident. <laughs> Unboxing art. When I hit this little button... It just automatically. Oh boy. You meant join and hit instead of. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what you're saying. But yeah. Anyhow, um, I've been looking forward to this Cyclops. It looks so good. It almost looks like Mayfex. The pinless joints, butterfly joints, the straps being molded to that. Only thing could have took you taking it over the top is if you had a ball in the waist like the G.I. Joe's and drop down the hips. But other than that, it looks crazy good. <coughs> no, yo. And for people that's joining late, I, I have been coughing. I've been trying to hold it back, but I, I can't. But that's him. He comes with him. These open jester hands that are huge. And of course, the man. But let's get jazz open. That's... All three of these things have been highly anticipated. The Johnny Lee already looked at Hazlab Star Saber. I did not take him out of the packaging. I mean, I. I took it out, but I didn't clip the zip ties. <coughs> Thank you, Pick for Life. Yeah, I accidentally hid unboxing art because the option just came up out of nowhere. Sorry about that unboxing art. My admin, Pick for Life, has brought you back to life. Thank you. Take for life. But, um, Jive. 
this doesn't have any zip ties on it, just like Cyclops. So I should be able to mess with this. And I watched most of Pink's video before I fell asleep last night. <coughs> and I watched um, TM Reviews mess with this thing earlier. So I might be able to use, set it up at least. <laughs> Don't believe Pink for life. I mean, I still don't know what that comment is talking about. I think I shared it on, when I shared it on my Facebook page, I must have put the wrong, I must have had a typo. No, no, I, I had to watch you later. I was still trying to get home when you were live. And I was cold and not in the mood to watch anything. Uh, what's this? This is the grappling hook. This is his speaker because he's jazz, which means he makes um <coughs> what sentence? Um, this is the second face. You should have did it. Jigsaw Nora. Do I have to go to my Facebook and correct myself? Um, here's the gun. Here is the missile launcher. Does this come off? The Mirage missile launch missile comes off. Here's his gun. Fully painted. Turn him into a truck. I'll, <laughs> I'll turn him into a truck. Not right now. I'm going to have to practice like crazy because I was watching Pig for Life do it and I was watching TM Reviews do it earlier. Oh, come hoin me. That's what I said. So I'm going to change that to come join me. <laughs> yeah, this transformation takes a long, long time and so many steps, but fresh out of packaging from what I've seen, these need to be clicked in, which they already are here. And I hope you aren't serious about the truck thing, Jigsaw Nora, as he transforms into a Porsche. Um, these knees need to be rocked forward some type of way. There we go. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm going to have a hard time explaining how to do that. Oh, oh my God. That is, what the frick? I got that one. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Masterpiece scale figures are difficult. But I need to push this forward. There we go. There we are. The shoulders are already down. And... Let's see. Oh, there are. This needs to come out. How did they do this? Yeah. This needs to come out. Come on. And there are some. Oh, I see it. Some clips that are supposed to make the arms go in. Now, how can I do this? Oh, I do have a spudger. 
Now, there are some Master Beast things that they try not to drive you crazy with the transformation. Like, the movie Masterpiece is pretty much studio series, but big. Which means they aren't as great as they could be when it comes to their likenesses and whatnot. But these are supposed to come up. And then you push them into the shoulder. Which I don't know if that's secure or not, to be honest. Whatever. That doesn't feel too secure. But now, how am I going to get this up? Pass this and over that. There we go. But fans' toys. It helps, but it's not secure. And I'm guessing I got to lock in his crotch crunch right here. I picked up the highly opposable MMC Shattered Glass Prime. There we go. But he looks good. And guess what I'm going to do? I got QC person number 31, which I don't even think they're using different stickers anymore. I've taken a sticker off. You don't have to see a dumb sticker in my whole review. There you go. The shots are fired. Oh, the arm is backward. The hand is to the side. Arm is backward. But yeah. Unless they got two people. I think they ran out of stickers. And the last stickers they have is 30 and 31. But I love the way they designed the feet. No other Jazz had feet looking like this. That was the one thing I didn't like on the, um, the Make Toys. But this is weird. Wait, is this supposed to rock to you? Oh, it is. I don't know what my friend the parts former is sending me. I'm live. Come watch me live. Inspector sixty six and ninety nine use the same. <laughs> oh boy. After I'm done this, I'm going to take some NyQuil. Oh, you know what? This ab crunch is better. See, look at that. Oh, boy, it doesn't come. Wow, this is this might be the best, or one of the best fan stories figures. This ab crunch, I was watching some one of you, you guys, and it made me think that it's actually loose. Yeah, it locks right there, but it's like tight. Oh, you have another live stream at nine? Oh, I'll still be woke. But I'll take that NyQuil anyway, so I can stop coughing. And my nose can stop running. Like, wow, look at this. See, I've been begging for this forever. Only thing they need to do is put the head on a ball joint. Like, he can look all the way up. He has an ab crunch. He can bend more than 90 degrees. Can the feet move forward? Ah, the foot moves forward. If it had a butterfly joint, this would almost be on Takara level. Like, that. this is really good. It is one of the best articulated fan stories figure I've messed with. So far, and I'm not even done all the way messing with it. I'm not through the masterpiece fan. What? Because it's too hard. Oh, you had a bunch of typos, Galvatron. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> it 
it's okay. Send me that message again. This time without the typos. And I like that they changed the way the gun works. Since the gun pegs into the the palm of the hand or palm it pegs in up or down here. It pegs in down the bottom. I hope they continue that. But wow, this is better than I expected. I'm strings of typos and I'm not even drunk. Um, toy hacks. I am not going to... I bought years ago, I bought a bunch of Masterpiece scale stuff with with toy hacks all over it, but no, no, this is good enough. I'm going to put an Autobot logo there and an Autobot logo on the other side for the car mode. But holy shit, this thing looks amazing. And you know what? I kind of wish that this double joint bent right there, but it can't because of how it's transformed. And if I break it, or break the connection, it's not going to look right. You know what? I'm pretty sure something clicks in better with that. Oh, there we go. Never mind. That was an issue with the Make Toys one. Yeah, Toy Hacks is expensive. I might need to go get sponsored by them so I can get <laughs> free Toy Hacks. <laughs> But I'm not going to say they aren't worth it because some of their, their sheets transform your figure into a whole different character. So that is great. But I'm loving this toe articulation right there where you can bend forward. Let me bring the camera down. <clears throat> oh, well. Yeah. I think I already know. I was hoping I got this for the, before the end of the year. But, yeah, this is definitely probably my Masterpiece figure of the year. I didn't get that many Masterpiece figures this year. But this is awesome already. And I'm just opening them. So I really like that. So people that's joining late, I got the Fans Toys Jive. Let me move this. I don't like that. That rocket launcher looks super huge. Fan stories jive. I got the animated Cyclops that has pinless knees, pinless elbows, and butterfly. Things we've been begging for forever. I've been begging for. And um extra actual hands because normally he would come with one fist. And this hand right here. And I hated that. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this hand? Give me another fist at least. But not only did they give you this and two fists, they give you the open gesture hand so he can get into some martial arts style poses and whatnot. Oh, you like Cyclops or Jazz, um, Norman? Oh, the Power Rangers Street Fighter crossovers. Ah, I would get them if they had their unmasked face, which I saw is a variant you can do in the game. I've never played them in the game, but it's kind of, that takes it away that they don't have that unmasked face. Like with this, what would have made this perfect? The hands they give you? Great. If they had another hand, if they had like a laser attachment for his visor and his unmasked face, this would be perfect to me. But um, I have an unmasked, I have two unmasked face for him through the, um, the love triangle set. So I'm pretty sure it's probably the same size ball joint. So I could use them. 
like I said, I might take off the cell shading paint, but it's not really bothering me, to be honest. And not only did I get these two right here, thanks to G Tony, who is super duper crazy generous. I do have the HasLab Star Saber and Victory Leo. They appear to be good. I got the leg panels I'm supposed to have. I don't see any crazy. Uh, maybe there is a smudge right there on the gold paint right here. Why are people sending me messages while they see I'm live? But, um, yeah, I can't wait to review that. So, question. Which one of these, this is going to be reviewed together, him and him. Uh, more than likely, I, I'm going to do Jive, period. I was going to ask who should I review first, but I'm not even going to listen to y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, because I'm going to do Jive first. I might do Cyclops because he's so simple and easy. And then I'll do Star Saber because there's so much stuff involved. Oh, yeah, definitely going to do Jazz first. People love Masterpiece on my channel, and they love Fans Toys on my channel. I am late a couple days. I'm probably not going to get the amount of views I would love or like, but yeah, this jazz is perfect. Like looking at it, I don't have any issues. Like what I, the make toys one looks good and it is it, definitely a great figure, but there were issues I had with it aesthetically. This looks awesome. And the articulation is great. I can't really complain about it. Oh, this definitely feels solid. Like the fact that I can do this and it's not riggedy. There's no ratchet joint, but the ab crunch still sits forward and I'm shaking it and it's not flopping. You can't do that with a lot of figures. It does lock into place. The knees do have ratchets in it. The hips have ratchets. It doesn't have ratchets out to the side. That's friction. So, yeah, y'all, y'all tricking me into doing a review right now. But uh, let's see. I think it does have ratchets in the shoulders. I'm not really used to that. None going outward. <coughs> Pink always steals everybody review. I mean views because. He gets figures first. Like the shipment from Toy Jojo goes to his house. So yeah. On the East Coast. So he reviews every reviews it. And then he mails them out. So he's in a lucky position. I'm not going to knock him. Oh yeah, I think. Tim reviews did get his figure first. And I'm always thinking that people think that TM reviews is me. And a lot of people are probably subscribed to him because they think he's me. And then they probably start watching the video like, I don't remember his voice sounding like that. Yeah, I don't know why you wait on pre-ordering. Oh yeah, Mac Man, if you actually wanted this. Whenever a fan's toys come out, I'll even let you know. Pre-order that shit. <coughs> Tony Chang, what you talking about? Shout out to Tony Chang. He's been subscribed to me forever. Forever. I appreciate the loyalty. 
Yes, you were sending me messages, Kato. You and Parts Farmer. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck do they want while I'm live? <laughs> And here's true start. Or is this thing screwed up and sending me old stuff? But did anybody else get this guy? Or is excited to get Cyclops? What is this? He has. It's almost like he has a separate arm molded in. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can zoom in. Look at that. Oh, look at that, Henry. You can zoom in and focus on Android. You need an Android phone. But you see how he has that cut in his forearm? It's like the upper arm is one guy. And then they put specific arms on here for him. That's probably why he costs so much. But that's weird. To just have a random cut in the forearm. I don't like that. But let's see this jazz up close. You can't do that on Pig for Life. <laughs> Maybe I'll do live reviews if my <coughs> Throat wasn't scratchy right now. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Um, trying to twist this, it won't twist. You know what? This piece right here is free floating. I thought it was glued on, but it's not. So you got to watch that when you take the hands off. It probably might have been glued, but since I tried to twist the forearms, it's definitely missing. Look at this. Sorry if you can hear a little baby crying in the background. My nephew. But, um. All right, zoom out. There we go. I have the Cyclops Phoenix Pack 2. Uh, I haven't sold many Marvel Legends. You know what? Do I have a fingernail clipper in here? I do. Maybe I will open this. Yeah. Um, so that Phoenix single release, the card release they're coming out with, I mean, it's nice that it has the pinless elbows but it's freaking phoenix she doesn't need to have um double jointed elbows i had fun just posing her with what she has yeah there we go here is a star saber His weird elbow joints. They tried to give him double joints right there. Does he have an ad print? I could have. I'm going to have to mess around with this off camera. I could have swore I had an ad print. His head goes up. I didn't get the massive race figure. Shadow Bird, it, it is always Christmas for me. My daughter was asking what I wanted for Christmas, and I'm like, ah, I don't know what to tell you, because I get every daggone thing. Just whatever you think I need. But, yay. Thank you. Thank you, G. Tony, again. I don't know why he's not in here. Uh, I 
I have Shira. I never reviewed it yet. I have the 40th He Man. I never reviewed it. I just got Sun Man. I have Hordak. Never reviewed them. They're sitting in the box, and I probably need to just take them back to the store. These are a little bit more free floating than I, <coughs> than I would like. Oh, that's a weird, that's an inventive butterfly right there. It looks like you're untransforming it, but it's designed to do that because it has a ratchet. I could have swore. Actually, I see the ab crunch. But I'm going to have to figure out how that works. There we go. Ab crunch. <laughs> You're getting Star Saber, um, Full Spectrum, Dominaniac, don't try to get me to read weird names live, I guess I could take this guy out too. Uh, I'm gonna leave the mini cons on there. I think I have both of those molds. What do you mean, how is my selfie series figure? What specifically about it? Because I put up a video for that. And I enjoyed it. Oh, he has a wrist swivel. That's good. That's always great. Oh, yeah. He does not have any waist rotation because of the way he transforms. I like that. I like the way that moves up with the leg and comes back. Oh. <clears throat> the selfie series figure is in my bag. been taking this to work. Close enough to me, it just needs glasses, which I have been reluctant to buy. Um, I had paper in here so it would stop floating around, but I recently, I took that paper out because I put them on a different body, and I didn't put the paper back in there, and it's sitting on my desk at work. But, there we are. Um, I think the head shapes are the same, whatever. I have a whole different haircut right now anyway. I have a feet. Those are two things that's gonna be interesting as far as looking at looking like me. That's close enough. 
I like putting these glasses, since I don't have regular glasses, I like putting them up there so I can cover that freaking hairline, which I also don't like. How long have I been talking? 50 minutes? Anyway, um, thank you all. Thank you all who joined. Thank you all who liked. At some point, I'm going to have a review on Victory Saber, Star Saber, Jive, and this Cyclops. So, there you are with that. Anywho, <coughs> I'm trying to try not to cough. Did you order it, Galvatron? But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned this weekend to see at least a couple of these. It's definitely going to be Jive first. But, uh, yeah, T-Man 978. Freaking out of here.